713. Now, government watchdog groups warn that a bill scheduled for a vote today in Baton Rouge would damage the checks and balances of democracy, close off government, and make it operate in secret, potentially gutting the state's public records law. Some thoughts on this from Fox 8 political analyst Mike Sherman. And good morning, Mike. Good to be here. Let, let's face it, this comes in the context of Louisiana with its long history of political corruption, and this law, public records, was put in force partly to offset that and to, to be a hedge against that. Without a doubt. So every citizen who's trying to find a, a information about government or every journalist trying to research a story puts in that famous public records request. Hopefully you get them in three days. That rarely happens anymore. But you get that information to understand how your government's working. Uh, transparency, accountability, those are big buzzwords in government. This is actually designed to make government less transparent by allowing certain documents to be concealed. So you worked in government for a yeah. while there. You're, you're a reformed government. I'm just kidding. But, <laughs> but so you're, you've made a point that you're going about your day, you have a nice clean day, and you get a public records request from the legal department, and that's a pain in the neck. Yeah, the public and private sectors are different. You're, you're, you're an uh, official in a government administration. You've got a full day. Your calendar's jam-packed. That public records request gets forwarded to you from the law department. Oh, that feeling in the gut of your stomach, you just hate it because you're now going to spend hours and hours going through your emails and your records to comply with the public records law so that the public has an, a, a right to know what you're working on. So as a government official, you don't always love it. But, John, that's democracy. That's what keeps government accountable is that, that a fear of, of showing everyone what... And, and the, key, the key word here is deliberative. Yep. But, the, but the critics are saying, so if something is deliberative, it ha a final decision hasn't been made. But John, that's can, everything. They can hide behind <laughs> it. This is the problem with this bill. You, you can't in good, in good conscience say, oh, well, this is just draft documents or early in the deliberative process. Those are actually the exact documents you need before a final decision is made. A hallmark of American democracy is the citizens in this state have an ability to reach out to our elected officials, our legislators, share our views before a final decision is made. These deliberative documents, I would say, are actually some of the most important documents in all of government so that you can have honest, good public dialogue before a decision is made. Uh, and our, our partners at the Louisiana Illuminator, Greg LaRose, used the example of somebody wants a permit for a drive-in across the street from your house. But they, so you follow the zoning change, but you may not know in the future that, wait a minute, they want a health department permit because they want to do what across from my house? That, that kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, uh, in Louisiana, uh, there have been great strides uh, over the past number of years to, to get us out of that uh, bottom spot in terms of transparency, accountability, operating a good government. Uh, if this happens in these lists of 50 states for transparency and good government, we're going to plummet to the bottom of the list of all 50 states because a good public records doctrine, a good open meetings law, which we have, uh, uh, scaling back those protections for the public is what makes a government less transparent, less accountable to its citizens. When you, when you, get, when you get mad at your Paris president because you find out he or she took a trip to Paris and then took a little side trip to London yeah. and found a little excuse to do it, and gee, who paid for that and how much did it cost? This is the kind of this is the kind of question this bill answers. W without a doubt, listen. There's always ways to improve uh, the efficiency of the public records doctrine, and I would support efforts to do that. Certainly, in this era of massive amounts of data, um, but this bill isn't that. Th this bill is specifically designed to shield government officials uh, uh, from their opinions, and those are the actual opinions that are the most important, I think, to the public uh, that lead up to decisions being made. We'll see how it plays out today, Mike Sherman. Thanks. Good to be here.